This is Berghain, the world's most exclusive club. It's the toughest door. No, I haven't gone in. Don't try and come in. Come on, you, in. you never know if you're going to get in or if you're not going to get in. And you guessed it. I'm going to try to get in. They do sit on another level there. The most exclusive and coolest club in all of Europe. It goes from Friday night midnight until like Monday at about noon. And people there, you know, they go all weekend long. They make you put a sticker over your phone, no pictures, they'll throw you the fuck out. All right, I'm into the Berghain. Yeah, it won't be easy to get in. Many celebrities have been turned down, and even Elon Musk was told to go party somewhere else. So what gets you inside? What is the secret? Well, there are countless blogs, articles, and videos telling you how to speak, and even how to dress. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get inside with these outfits. I uh, look like, like Steve Jobs, and <laughs> you look like you an do. accountant. <laughs> like a finance guy. <laughs> like a finance guy that scammed you, or tries to sell you something. <laughs> This is my cousin Daniel. We've been best friends since we were babies. And he's also the first person I ever went into a club with when we were like 15. Don't mind the terrible outfits. I don't know what we were thinking. And I guess Daniel was in his Justin Bieber face with the haircut. <laughs> But hey, I figured he would be the perfect guy to bring along onto this adventure to see if two regular guys can get inside these mysterious walls behind us to see what the most exclusive club in the world really has to offer. Regular guys? <laughs> <laughs> cool guys. <laughs> but before we try our luck, I've come up with three crucial tasks that will increase our chances of getting in. One, get our information. Two, find the right outfits. Three, try another crazy club to see if we blend in with the people of Berlin. And by gathering information, I mean just scoping the area right now. And this is literally where people usually queue up for days sometimes. I see a lot of cameras right Okay, yeah, that is not ideal. I really don't want our faces to get printed out for the security <laughs> tonight or anything that they're gonna think like, oh, these guys were filming here, that's interesting. We don't want that. In general, everything looks very techno sketchy in a way like not not sketchy but more like edgy like very rough and let's be honest the building itself is very impressive i don't think there's much more exploring that we can do right now i mean it's literally just people walking their dogs right now but what we can do is get her some more information and experiences from people in the city what can you tell me about Berghain? A lot of things happen in Burkhain. A lot of dancing, a lot of sweating, and a lot of things that I probably... In the toilet, there's the piss troll. He lives and swims in the urinal, in the piss. And the urinal's in the dark, so you don't know where you're pissing. And when I went there for a piss, I pissed in his face. Well, it's a little bit like Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? It's not for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face, right? I, then, then the next time I went, he had a girlfriend with him. So they're like in leather shorts with swimming goggles on. I think that there are probably people out there that are not ready to see maybe the things that they would see in there. I didn't ask his name. I just pissed in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect the culture. But it's just not for me. Yeah, well, they don't want the average tourist turning up there. But then you have the back kind with the different rooms and the dark rooms and the dance floor. And, and the what happens crowd there? Stays there. When we got here, I was like, we got to get into Berkheim. But now the mystery has increased and everyone keeps telling us stuff without actually giving us that much information. They say a lot, but they don't tell you anything. I feel like there are thousands and thousands of people who've been inside that all share a secret and are like these cool kids in high school and part of a club. We want to be part of the cool gang of the Berghain crew, even and though we look guy, like dorks. The guy just told us he was in a queue for seven hours. I don't want to stand in a line and at the end just to be, uh, you know, told off that I cannot get, get in because I don't look a certain way. It, was, it used to be like black clothes, leather. You dress in black. You don't see anything, yeah. you just hope you get in. You have to look edgy, cool. Don't be too chic, don't be too too extravagant, but don't be too laid back either. Try not to look like a tourist. You have to be dressed all in black. It's difficult to figure out. It's pretty much try and error. If you look at me right now, yes. would I get into Bergheim wearing no, this? You, you can go to a cinema. <laughs> <laughs> a little punch in the face and a few tattoos, I don't know. <laughs> But, but no, Bernheim, no, no clubbing, I'm sorry. I guess we gotta do some shopping then. Hello. 
this shop is wild. The only thing I see is crazy leather stuff that people probably wear in Barakai. <laughs> this leather jacket is the kinkiest I've gone, like the wildest. <laughs> My friend and I are going to try to get into Bergheim. Yes. We have no idea what to wear. <laughs> what would you recommend us? Uh, well, everything you have here in the store, I guess. Yeah, I think we can start with something that like a leather band or something, like a leather wristband or something like that. We're, we're trying to take it slow, right? Okay. Like a ring or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're we're going try to try to take it really slow. <laughs> this kind of a style because it's very easy. It's nothing too much, very simple. Combine it with some harness or some chokers. Whoa, 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 whoa. harness, chokers. We said we're going to take it slow, right? A lot of people want to go in there, so... You kind of have to be a little bit special, I guess. Yeah. So you are in front of the bouncers and they'd be like, oh, why would you fit in here if you look very basic? Are you excited to I try it out? I f***ing hate this. <laughs> <laughs> have you found the right harness yet? <laughs> we can try out a couple things. <laughs> wow. <gasps> this is really you. I could get in wearing this. I've, I, I, I'm a little bit speechless, as you guys can see. Um, I've never really worn anything like this. The harness is... <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a... I think it's short turn, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thing is, uh -uh, okay, let me grab the camera. Daniel is not very confident right now to get out of his accountant outfit. But it's so nice. Awkward it silence. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the current outfit? It's cute. You can wear that. Cute? Am I pulling it off? Can you pull it off with the right attitude in love? Alright, my outfit is secured. All I need now is are some finishing touches, like get my nails done. Never thought I would say that. Possibly get ourselves a little necklace or something, right Daniel? A little necklace just to look you know, sexy, cool. Necklace. cool. <laughs> it's a cool necklace. Maybe some rings as well. So that's what we're doing today. I'm getting my nails painted black. We gotta really commit to the Berghain vibe. And also something absolutely amazing just happened. I've got a massive smile on my face ever since. But one of you guys, a subscriber, actually recognized me here in Berlin. Jamie just approached me like, yo, Chris, I watch your videos and I... What Legend. The, yo, dude, honestly... Gotta do it, gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, take a photo. Oh, Chris what? takes oh. off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Only the real ones know what happened in Oslo. Do you want to rap or do you want to sing rap? I honestly, your... I want to make sure that I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Chris takes off, bitch. <laughs> Try it. That's a little less aggressive also. Okay. Me and my partner watch it. No way. Yeah, yeah. That is so nice. Yeah, guess who I just bumped into. This is the cheapest plane ticket that I could get, but I have no idea where it's gonna take me. <laughs> Chris <laughs> takes off, bitch! <laughs> Hi, how are you? Chris takes off, bitch! <laughs> Yo, this is wild. Meeting subscribers in real life is wild. If you ever see me, make sure to come up to me. I love this. This is insane. First time ever of this happening. I genuinely cannot stop smiling because of that interaction. Also, my nails are done. <laughs> uh, it feels kind of weird to have black nails. All of a sudden, I'm just scared that the bouncers are gonna notice that we're incredible wannabes. And by we, I mean I, because Daniel, can you show me your nails, please? Yeah. Yeah, dude just got a pedicure. <laughs> he didn't want to do it, but I really want to commit and hopefully, because I'm gonna look super Bergheiny, we'll get in. But our outfits aren't complete just yet. So let's start the epic shopping montage. Final outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so incredibly uncomfortable. Like, I literally don't look like myself. Like, when looking in the mirror, who is this guy? YouTube better work out because the fact that I'm just this putting this online. God. Um, first impressions, what do you think of my look? <laughs> I like the pants. <laughs> Oh, they're so incredibly tight. Like, look at that. Daniel, you as well. Outfit check. So you got the, so you got the boots. Okay, I don't feel myself as well. And you I went from accountant. Jacket. We'll put up a photo right here to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
just dressing up like this. Getting more information on Burke and then how to get oh, in. Your, uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's been such a hilarious process. Also, I do want to give a shout out to Zach and Jay. They've done this video a couple years ago. It always stuck with me, so I felt like giving it a shot with Daniel. But now, before we go in, I'm going to call someone who is a Bergheim veteran. What do you think of our outfit? Okay, Daniel, I think he's fine. Cause, yeah, it's um, easy, you know, you never, you're, he's wearing loose clothes, black, easy, nothing, nothing crazy. To your outfit, seems a bit like you want to try. I am trying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but they don't want that you're trying. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Um, but I, I don't have anything um, else. This is it. This is all I got. This is perfect. Why do you ask me? <laughs> but, I don't know. I just want a confirmation before we go in. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, then try I would say. Or you'd, I mean, um, yeah. We're gonna find out. Isabel, thank you so much for the advice. Um, and I think guys, for us, it's time to head out, hop into a taxi, queue, and switch to iPhone. I'm really, really hoping we're gonna get in. Honestly, now that we're getting closer, I'm like, I just wanna get in so bad. Like, I need to get in now. But not too bad. But not too bad. You <laughs> shouldn't want it too not bad. Too bad. <laughs> Imagine if we stand out in the rain for like an hour or longer and I then get longer. rejected. Yeah? Yeah. This is no fucking. I already see people walking away. Like they got out of the I had to put away my phone because if security sees you filming, you're out. As we got closer to the building, we realized there was no line. All we could see were two security guards hiding from the rain under a red umbrella. Was it because of the weather? Were we too early? Well, we couldn't really ask anyone since we would come across like we didn't belong there. And that's the last thing you want to do. So instead, we just went for it. All right. Um, now, this is, these are two phases of pure <laughs> disappointment. Uh, we were told that it is only guest list tonight, which I don't think is the case, unfortunately. Of course it's not the case. Oh, dude, we got turned down hard, we just hard, got, we, hard, we just hard. Got rejected. Like, we walked up and immediately the first thing they said is, are you guys on the guest list? And we were like, no, well, tonight you only need guest list. I'm like, Oh God, okay. Now, obviously you guys know me. I'm just not gonna give up that easily. Today is Friday night. We got one more night tomorrow. We're gonna find out and hopefully tomorrow we can get in. Good morning. I am devastated that we didn't get in. Um, I think the main mistake that we made was rocking up there at like 10.30, no queue there. The nails, the leather, in theory, it should do well. We did get into another club though last night. That is the good news. So our outfits were approved in a way by the Berlin party scene. I don't think I can show any footage there. I didn't film. But now we're just gonna freshen up, chill. And then Berlin, Berkhein, we're coming for you again. I cannot leave this freaking city without having seen what happens in those magical, mysterious walls. So we just had some food, because you know in every Chris Takes Off video, we gotta include some local delicacies, and just look at that insane curry sausage that is just basically swimming in sauce. We also had some Five Guys chilled at the spa at the Telegraph and Hotel, and I got my nail polish removed, because I don't know, it, it is just not me. I think everyone can see that I was trying too hard. Same goes for the leather pants. It, it was fun to wear them for once, but I couldn't pull them off, and so I quickly picked up a black cargo. And now we're gonna give it another shot. I genuinely think this is a lot more me. Hopefully this does match the vibe there. But the question is, I've got to kind of attach to this. <laughs> or you want to wear it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's head out and try Bergwijn one more time. When we got to the building, the vibe was totally different than the first time we tried. It was still an hour until the doors would open, but many groups were already nervously walking around and waiting for the first people to start queuing. We decided to grab a drink across the building to blend in and not attract too much attention to ourselves. As soon as there were about 100 people lined up, Daniel and I joined as well. We didn't say a word for over an hour and just stared through the red lighted windows of the mysterious building, wondering what happens inside praying we would get to see it with our own eyes. 
Seconds felt like minutes, and minutes felt like hours. Until the doors were finally opening up. One group after the other was rejected, and even the people we thought would make it in, walked off without saying a word. And then, it was our turn. Okay, we failed again, guys. Oh my god, I really thought it was gonna be it. We, they were just like, nah, nein, no, it didn't or something like that. She just looked at us, up, down, no, no, or not even that. It was like, just like gone. It was like so, 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 so painful. God damn. Okay, guys, uh, you guys know I did everything I could at this point. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll try again if we get 20,000 likes. Thank you. And I suggest you watch this video. Bye.